G'day lads, Mr. Kai here and I am back. Um, did it make it all the way back to where it is that I died last time when I made it back here. This is actually the same starting point as my previous recording. Uh, I got two new um, pawns because uh, my other ones were starting to get a bit weak compared to me, which is <laughs> uh, kind of sad because I'm not that strong already. And um, yeah, just going to continue on trying to get back to that. Uh, the fourth, that's what about. I've got my fan on again, so if you can hear a hum, that's what's called, caused by it. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like having that sound there to that, because I'm sure it bugs you. But it is way too warm in my room at the moment. So, I live in Australia and we're getting pretty close to the hot times. Not sure if it's, if it's summer just yet, but it gets warm, especially, if, especially at night, it gets really humid, which sucks. So, I'm um, just enjoying my nice high powered fan, cooling me down better than the neck one does. <sighs> a previous vid I have had a bit of a mess up, that's why if you watch it about 17 minutes in I think it was, uh, there's a gap that um, it was caused because as I was screwing around with my stream, uh, the stream actually failed because it lost the connection and I thought that that would actually stop my recording at the same time. Because I'm pretty sure that's actually what screwed up my recording that I first tried to do a while ago. Yeah, I've mentioned it a couple times now, but... And, um... And something else happened later, about 15-20 minutes later. And I don't remember exactly what that was. It had something to do with the... With the sharing again. And, uh, my recording actually did stop by, uh... By accident, I didn't realise. And, uh, so... I went to stop the recording, but I thought I was going to then start again, just to make sure that it was recording. But as I did that, it actually started recording instead of stopping, so... It actually hadn't recorded for the last few minutes. And so I was lucky I did that, otherwise it wouldn't have been one. But the... Mess up that I mess mentioned... Was, um... All three of those clips, when I started with the one that... I made to make sure that it was still recording and the one that um, was caused by the mistake that we shared with. Um, all those together, all three of them, I had to cut out the middle one because the all three of them together just went for too long. Uh, it would be close to an hour and a half and unfortunately we used uh, PlayStation for the uh, one hour. So yeah, I had to cut that one out. Not much happened in it. Um, I think that might be the part where I actually found Salamis from uh, I didn't do much in it, I mean I literally run down to that building just down there and then I climbed up to the tower, I got a chest, got two, two a chests, opened it and inside was the Grimoire. And that, that's it, I didn't even fight anyone inside, I just walked up and grabbed it. And then I teleported back to the Grand Floor and, and uh, completed the quest and then I started running towards this place. Uh, I'm not sure if that was in the part that was cut out. If it wasn't, if it wasn't in the part, then you've missed nothing. It was just me running around here, this exact same place in the dark, fighting wolves. Now uh, it's near here that I died. Down there is where all the um, saurians were. Uh, further up around there is uh, where the chimera is, and then further along is the cliff that I fell off of. And I just got a notification from Share Factory, telling me that they cannot upload the very movies that I've spent the last five minutes talking about. So yeah, I'm feeling I'm about to get into a bad mood once I finish at least and work out what's happening with that. Because I've put those uh, clips together using Share Factory. I used a um a opening animation for the PS4 upload. And um you know I quite liked how it ended up doing it. And it's not the first time that something's come up saying that it can't upload. I don't know what feels is it. Usually I just try again and it works. So. If anyone does know what causes things to not upload for whatever reason, could you let me know down in the comments? Because I'm not much of a techie. Um, the, my extent of trying to fix something is turn it off and back on again. So if something's happening with the recording that I'm causing, also I don't know about it, if you could let me know, I'd really appreciate that.
Do 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 do. Seriously? Where's the checkpoint? Okay, so I'm not, I'm not all the way back at Soren again. I'm tired of fighting my way through there every time, so I'm just going to run straight through it. Odds are I'm going to die when I get there anyway. I have to find a dragon to get there, or a drake, but close enough just a dra dragon, but more. And meaner. This little path here looks like it'll lead me straight to where I'm going. It doesn't. It ends around here. I just go all the way around and through this, this big forested area here. And then to the thing. So, yeah. In for a long trek. Because they're fun. I'm not angry. I'm fucking furious. Yes, it's a tree. It's fascinating. It's made of wood. If it wasn't for them, we we wouldn't be able to breathe. Say thank you to the trees. Thank you, trees. Mwah, 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 mwah. I don't know why I did that. Whee! Oh, 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 oh,
I win. Okay. And go down here. Screw the organs, I'm not fighting them all again. And now I've got a timer going this time so I can make sure that I don't go screwing up. Recording for 13 minutes. We're still a fair ways from the nearest set. Go away, sorry. Come and notice that they're in fight, which is very annoying. Just put the fish wound. You missed. You missed as well. And you missed. And you hit her. That's the same freaking thing that happened last time. You're bloody staying down there, Zarya. If I die again trying to get along this freaking cliff, I'm gonna be pissed. <sighs> Don't die, you bitch. <clears throat> this game should be called Dragon's Dogma Dead Arisen. Save it. Because if I go here and I press the uh, thing on the jiggy button, it saves the touchpad button. Yeah, save successful. Now, if I do retry, this is where I'll stop instead of. Yeah. I'm going to do that instead of getting hit by a rock and falling off a cliff. That'd be great. Whoever thought my biggest enemy would turn out to be nature. Damn, nature, you're scary. This game is fun, but I really wish I had a different mode of transport. Having to walk everywhere is so boring. There is one mission I can do, which actually opens up uh, an abandoned mine, and it sort of gives me a, a fast travel option. It's definitely faster than running all through here, but. In order to actually unlock it, I have to kill, well, to finish the mission, I have to kill three ogres, which is the same thing that I fought uh, in the video that got messed up, which I haven't uploaded. So, you don't know what an ogre looks like yet. And no, it does not look like Shrek. Uh, they're not super strong, but they have a lot of health. And, um... 
They're stronger than me, anyway, so if I'm fighting three of them, this isn't gonna happen. Yes, single beast with three heads, moving on. Okay, save here. Here, 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 here. I can't save while I'm fighting, very freaking good. Because this lot are all fighting in the blue. Lion Blood Snake. It's stronger now, I might be able to kill it. There's not much benefit to killing it, but it drops some pretty good loot, so get a bit of money at least and I can buy stronger weapons. This looks like a leg or ham on the floor, and it's supposed to be a tail. Yeah. That's why I like Hunter Bolt so much. When it's big enemies like this, they have multiple points where you can hit them. Like I do get the head, the head, the body, the snake. And uh, the Hunter Bolt can target all. So it's like our bears, for example, I can actually only target uh, one part of them, I can only target their head. And, uh, like with the historians, I can target their head and the tail because they're considered two different, separate parts. I've got high confidence that I'm going to be able to kill this thing, but hey. Come on, go kill it.
There he goes. I shot a giant snake saw. Moving out. I'm hit by a giant mine and now I'm okay. That did a lot of damage. You're Wish I had that, um, that old lady from, uh, Madagascar here that beats up uh, no, the line for the I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. He likes to move it, move it. He likes to move it. And it's a line. You like to move it. If you like to move it, move it. I'm asking you if you like to move it, move it. Fine, don't ask me if I just can't move my life. 
Because when each hit at this pressure point, it's got barely, not even like one quarter of health bar left. It's weird, usually one of the hits dies by now. Because they've actually each got their own health bar, but uh, only the snakes are actually displayed. The last two will go to the line, eventually they just completely die. And uh, it's kind of cool because the, uh, the movements of it actually change when depending on who's which head's still alive. Like if, if only the goat's alive, it actually sort of bounds around and actually kick you with the back foot back feet. If it's just a line, it sort of sprints at you and stalks. And, uh, and you can kill it while the snake's still alive. So. There's not much point leaving that storm. Sure you guys help, but let's be honest, I had to revive you a lot. That's it, all got out of that was a freakish scale. Oh screw you then game. And off I go, now I can say. And just in case I didn't say it enough times before, I wanna 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 one. Now rocks. I'm gonna say this now, screw you. And also gonna say this, please don't kill me. You can kill them, I don't care about them, I can get them back later. But don't kill me. Because it's very annoying. And it's quite rude, sir. You wouldn't I have to walk Well Nice and just keep on going, don't they? I like that you can trigger them by shooting them though. <laughs> Seriously? One of them got hit. How hard is it to get out of the way of the freaking boulder? Screw it, you can stay down there, I'm not coming back for you. Douche. And stop taking a break and get, have, get touched in the elbow and suddenly I'm alive again. Oh, I was already alive, but I'm um, got more energy. Rejuvenated, that's what I was looking for. And... I'm okay. Oh look, rocks. Let me just stand up here. And shoot! Yeah, screw it. I thought that'd explode if I, if I shot them. It's trying to look cool, but I'm not very good at doing that. Is this where I think it is? It is! Behold! The Dragon! Devil Fire Grove. Good name! Just so you can see how much health this thing has. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine health bars. And it can kill me in one hit, so I'm not gonna bother. Bye! Bye! First time I fought this thing, it took me over an hour and a half to kill it. And, uh, if I was just playing just for fun, not for recording, I'd probably stay and fight it. But I am recording, so I don't want to. Move, 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 move. See, one hit, and that's how much damage it did. Get up and run, get up and run, get up and run, get up and run. Run faster. 
And to top it off, goblins. And yes, it does fly. Oh, you probably assumed that, but it wasn't at the time, so some of you might have thought that it doesn't. Although with all those trees around it, you shouldn't be able to, because its wings would be hitting the brushes. But oh well. Game this old, I'm not expecting that much accuracy. That's pretty cool though, if you do owe so much damage to it, it'll actually uh, fly up and it'll hide itself in the trees, it'll sort of fly away, land, and it'll actually stalk towards you like a cat. And it's surprisingly... Uh, can sneak up on you quite well. Yeah, quest failed, I know, I don't care. And here we are. The fort that I had to run to. So freaking far. So this would be where I would try and play it, uh, Port Crystal if I could. But I can't. The Shadow Fort, that's what it was called. Accurate, it makes a nice shadow. Alright, and I talked to one of these guys, I think. Well met, sir. I take you for the origin. Sir Maximilian informed us of your coming. My own, our tactics are we aim to strike from the front gate, but let the time and means to that. I ask that you pass to the hole you see there. May open the gate. I cannot say what may await you within. You're more familiar with this question. So translation, do my job for me. The thing that kind of bugs me, being the Arisen doesn't actually do anything. And apart from obviously, you know, I haven't got a heart. But I mean, it doesn't like give me special powers or anything. I'm still essentially just a human. I was, I was a farmer. Or a fisherman, I think, actually, rather. Before all this happens. And then the dragon did what it did. And now everyone calls me Arisen. in here. Where's my... I have... Where the hell's my lamp? Did I... Did I sell my freaking lamp? Go away, you bet. Show my job. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> she fell in the hole. Thank you for warning me off the goblin in this goblin invasion force. first look at a cyclops and there is the second look at a cyclops there's a third one up there but it doesn't spawn in until I actually get up there now 
was gonna go over here. The gold is jump buttons. Go down, 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 down. And jump and step. And jump and step. And jump and step. Very excited. And jump and step. And sun play. And jump and step. And jump and step. What I have to do now is I need to get the um my voice broke then. I thought I, I thought I finished PBD. Zarya, why are you unconscious? Nah, uh, just go down here. Whee! Okay, I'm going down a bit, but there's no way to go up and quick, which is fine. Uh there's both advantages and disadvantages to letting um the other army in. Uh, well, the obvious advantage being that they will help them fight. Downside is, if they get killed, which odds are they will be because of the Cyclops, the mission fails. And I don't want to fail the mission. Because, uh, even though it, I actually can fail the mission and continue on with the story, uh, it will... Eh! I forgot you were there. Uh, it will make things more difficult later on when I have to come back here, later in the storyline. Because instead of being an ally for all, it stays as a. Uh, yeah, thanks for helping me get down, douche. I should have been. Thanks, see. Somebody say no. And uh, I think I just got a pair of shoes. New shoes! Yay! What do I do? And they're weaker than what I had. Bam. That's one thing that will happen a lot in this game. You'll buy something new and then you'll find something else. Still great sword. But if I was a warrior, if I had a warrior, I would give that to him. Now the door's open. I just ran right through that door. And not in the normal way. Let's go, Zarya. No, no, <laughs> Look at the Cyclops out there. It's kind of, I can actually just stand here and just shoot him. And just shoot him constantly. And he, he, he can't get in here. And it's too stupid to move from the door that's getting chopped with. It sounds mean, it's too stupid. The Cyclops are stupid in this game, they're very stupid. They see me, they hit me. That's pretty much the epitome of Cyclops. The epitome, that's not my word. The epitome of Cyclops um, mentality? It's as good as it gets, basically. So, this is the fourth time in less than two minutes I've revived you. Stay up. Let's take some time with you. Sit like that. Sit. Do that more often. That was high angle if you want to, by the way. Three, five, four, five. Good for dead and more good for dead. And shoot you. And a four crystal. I can use that to uh, make it this make it like a fast travel here. Uh using a um, fairy crystal, I think it's called. Fairy stone. Fairy stone, that sounds right. So it's basically the this game's fast travel mechanic. Uh, I don't, I've never been able to get them to work. I don't know why. Because as far as I know, you, I've, I can put them anywhere except for like, inside dungeons. I wouldn't be able to put it in here, for example. 
there's like if it's out and about, it's on the street, I should be able to put it there, but whenever I try it, it always says I can't. But I haven't tried yet on the new PS4 version, so maybe it will work, so to find out when I finish killing these look. And this is weird because I could have sworn that this is where the lever was. Wait, did I get the lever already? Did you pick it up? Okay, do we have the lever? Do we have the freaking lever? We have the lever, okay. I got the lever, everyone can stop looking for it. It's one thing that kind of gets me with this game. As soon as I pick open, I can walk through the door. Like, literally, through the door. Like, this isn't... I mean, physics aren't my strongest subject. And I can't walk through it now, because it's close, but... When it's open, I can walk straight through it, which is weird. Hey, Psychops, where are you? It's your turn to die. Run! Oh, she's right there. I'm over here, stupid. Stop calling me stupid. Look at that. No. Who's making that sound then? Oh, oh. Oh, shit. I might actually be able to kill him. These hunter bolts are actually doing this damage. They help fucking see him. At the moment it's uh because it's dark in here but I've got the lights on in my room, I actually can't see the screen very well. Like right now I cannot see that cyclops like at all. See the his buddy coming though, and his buddy's got a lot of armor on. So I'm going this way. This dude's on the belly state are driving me nuts. Where are you? I cannot see a thing right now. that they will be able to get in but I don't want them to die so I'm not going to. I have to let them in bef before I can actually get into the port because as they come in all their mates are dead so they call for backup and they open the fort in order for the backup to get in. But uh... Yeah, it's right. There's another ballast over here that I can shoot them with but the ballast they will break if they shoot it. So you can shoot at me, shoot at me, shoot at me, shoot at me, shoot at me. <laughs> See, and uh, now it's broken. Zarya, did you seriously get shot by a ballast day? Buddy, that's his armored one. Eh. Wish me, wish me, now you gotta not just me my stuff. Seriously, getting shot at by exploding giant arrows, getting attacked by two supplies, and you still stop to take a breath. You're on your feet, you're not that tight, freaking move. It's one thing that drives me nuts about this game. Like, I get, you know, stopping with having to stop to take a breath with stamina, but I think in certain situations, the. The AI would keep moving. Anyone said yes? You'll be. Ah, that slap is better. 
At least now I'm not on my own reflection showing up so much on it. Yes, that is what's called a wall. We are walking into it back to the to get out of the way of the giant exploding pipe One cool thing about this is you can actually break their tusk club. And you can pick them up and sell them or use them for whatever you want. Zarya, again. There's so many times I'm gonna revive you before I just let you die. And I think I just got put in. <laughs> this club fell in here, now we can't get it. If you shoot him in the hand, they'll actually drop their weapon. And uh, eventually they'll try and pick it up again. But if we can't reach it now, so... Dude, little shit. Let's go to one on the reason. Get it, I'm poisoned. Shut up. Uh, normal speed, just Yeah, there we go. I'm cured! It was Vim. It's Vim, but liquid. Trying to get it inside, you can actually you know, attack their eyeballs and it does like bonus damage. Yeah, really, the invading force of the giant monsters and the belly state. As you burn each. I kind of feel like um uh poor guy right now. Everyone around me has this monsters and this giant weapons and magic users and I'm here with a bow that shoots fancy arrows.
really? I'm gonna snuck off that spawn, it looks very honest to me. You can actually break their armor. Which I find a bit weird because they can't break mine, but I can break theirs. Like it gives the game gives you a little disadvantage when you're fighting against them. Obviously like things like their health and the amount of damage they can do per hit. It gives you a lot of advantages as well. Okay. Thank you. And gone. Yeah, let, let me just get in your ass here for a second. Thank you. And that's it. And now melt. But literally he melts. Melt, 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 melt. Melt, 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 melt. Bad day to be a Cyclops. Let's be honest though, is there ever a good day to be a Cyclops? Giant flying missile that explodes on impact to beat me, but not much. When I created my character, I actually controlled how tall she is. I just put it at a maximum height because I like when they're tall. And the characters are tall, not tall when they're tall. But uh, if I made them uh, shorter, I'd actually be able to go down the tunnel, which I think is pretty cool. I don't see why my character can't just crouch. But hey, what are you gonna do? Didn't I just revive him? Stay behind this thing and I should be fine. Yep, I'm fine. And that's fine. Let's break the helmet, then, shall we? It's pretty fun, actually. If I, if I jump on his head, he'll try to grab me, but he'll take his helmet off. Come on, try and grab me. Come on. Come on. I'm on your head. It doesn't usually hit me, but the ground shakes when it does it, obviously. So my guy, uh, uh, wolves. Holy 
it's not 100% covered in armor, hit it where it's not. I will win this fight eventually, I swear. And then I'll probably go... That's crap, I'm actually coming up to an hour. Um, I've got to start another recording immediately after this one. I've got 30 seconds left before my camp, before uh, uh, PlayStation cuts me off. So, uh, thank you guys very much. I'm not going to ask you to like or subscribe, but I am going to ask you to comment. Let me know what you thought, if you have any uh, requests or suggestions for games. Let me know and I will see what I can do. Thanks for watching guys. This was Mr. Guy. I'll be seeing you.